<laughs> oh man, that was great. Oh man, that was amazing. You already know I was doing that. I'm pretty sure everybody and their mom saw that coming, right? I mean, if I'm gonna use this lady, she better kill God at the very least. So now it was all worth it. See, she is the best unit in the game. The only possible person that could have killed Medius. Clearly she must be good. She's good, I swear. You know, maybe that maybe that last hit is supposed to be an automatic crit, right? Because I know in a lot of the Fire Emblem games, the last hit on the final boss tends to be a critical hit no matter what. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I kind of hope that it wasn't, to be honest. Just so that that would be even more awesome. <laughs> oh, it was all worth it. <laughs> oh, man. This was a trip. Let's get our ending, guys. Gah! Why? Why have I been defeated so easily? <laughs> Nobody can beat us, man. Is this the power of Naga's binding shield? No, this, humans. This light is only a brief respite. So long as evil lurks within the hearts of man, should this accursed shield be lost, we shall rise from the depths of hell. Do not ever forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard this one before. Hurry up and melt away. Yeah, that's what I thought. I also really like how the Gradivus had just enough uses to pull this off. And he gives experience as well. At least he's kind enough to give a full level up. I was kind of hoping for Rez too, that it would have been perfect. <laughs> Of course she goes out on a banger. And there goes the Gradivus map clear, and with that, game clear as well. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, this was hard. This was super, super hard, guys. <laughs> oh, man, this has been a journey. I'm gonna enjoy this. Probably more than any other ending in Fire Emblem, just cause, like, man, I didn't know if we were gonna make it or not, guys. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, but here we are. The epilogue, dude. Ah, the war is at long last over. Thank you, my friends. My words cannot express my thanks. Sire, you did it. That he did. Yeah, I did it! It thus marks the end of the Legend of Night Luke. <laughs> I love that guy. I really wish I didn't drop Luke, to be honest. The war is over. I can now return to my motherland at last. Oh, no, is everybody going to say so? Oh, god damn. Really? <laughs> Yeah, remember all these memorable characters like, uh, Ymir and, uh, who? <laughs> I can't even think of the people that I've forgotten. Belf? <laughs> Horus? Remember Horus? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Prince Mar, Deltre, everyone. Yep. Oh, we're doing this. All right, Prince Marth really did it. Now peace will reign forever. Surely. We really did it. I'm sure the people throughout the lands will be joyous. Drug too. Drug is cool. I like him. I really like Aaron as well. By the way, it took me until this point to remember that the bond drop is an item. And because this is probably not going to be the last thing we're doing with Fire Emblem 12, I might look at some of those supports you guys suggested after all. Uh, but it'll be after the fact, not today. <laughs> Definitely not today. Who knows how long this could take if everybody has something to say. My dream has been fulfilled. Now I can go without regrets. Too many still dying. Granny, we did it. We did it. Oh, yes. Prince Marth, I'm glad. And now, back to my old life. What do you do, Warren? What exactly is it that you do? Time to celebrate our victory. I'm gonna get wild tonight! Oh, baby! Towards the party, dude. Darkness may return time and time again, but the light will forever shine on. Linda, the Swordmaster Extraordinaire. It was a long war, but now, finally... You know, something weird about the White Wings is that if you were to take every single Fire Emblem game, including Heroes and, uh... And the Arcania Saga, and you if you were to pick one at random, right? You'd have more than a 50-50 shot of picking a game with them in it. It's pretty weird. <laughs> I think Intelligent Systems really loved those three. Can't say I blame them. Just tonight, I'm going to drink until I fall and then so. It's over, at last. Oh my god, <laughs> look at all these people. What? It's over? I'm not, I'm not dead? Me? Man, this is the worst unit in the game? Crazy! The most important thing is that peace has returned. The war is over. I must inform King Talus of the good news. Father, mother, it's finally over. There really are a lot of people in this game. I gotta say, I think this probably has the largest cast out of any Fire Emblem game, period. I guess excluding, like, Awakening and those, uh, those summoned characters that you could get, right, from all across the series. I guess that would technically be more, but as far as main playable characters, this has got to be the most. There's got to be, like, 70 guys. <laughs> Lorenz, I'll keep on working hard. 
<laughs> of course, Sirius doesn't have anything to say. Real serious guy, that one. <laughs> uh, mother, I'm coming back soon. I'm glad Martha's safe. Yeah, time to drink the night away for a change. These three are really, uh... <laughs> oh, <laughs> they might have a problem, not gonna lie. <laughs> I wonder how much treasure I can get my hands on. Splendid battle, sire. I like Frey, too. Was I of use, I wonder? No! <laughs> Yeah, was I of use here over on the bench? Did I do good, guys? Oh my god, Nord, did she ever do anything throughout this entire game? Oh yeah, now I'll become famous too! Hell yeah, now I don't have to lie about my identity! Sweet! Lord Gato, people have once again overcome their fate! Screw Gato! He's probably gonna show up here any second like, Yes, we did it, we did it, guys, together! <laughs> Please hang in there, I'll be back soon, I promise. Who's he talking about? We can save her now. Oh, his sister, duh! Prince Mart, well done. No, no, excuse me. Prince Mart, well done. <laughs> Shall I show everyone my victory dance? Go for it. I'm interested. A splendid battle and a splendid victory. With the war past us, I shall watch over the world quietly. So whatever happens to Bantu anyways, is he still around in Awakening or what? New world, new encounters, sounds good to me. Now Arcania will return to its former glory. Splendid work, Prince Marth. You managed the feat that nobody else could have done. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was Marth necessarily, but hey. The era of war is over. The peaceful world she wanted will now come to fruition. I really like Etzel. <laughs> have I said that? But I, I'm not sure if I have, but I really like him. I think it's the monocle. The monocle's just so badass. He just looks like a cool guy, honestly. As long as Prince Marth and the others are around, no age of darkness threatens us. Alone, I couldn't possibly accomplish something like this. So this is the power of friendship. The power of bullshit, more like. <laughs> Once I get my reward from the prince, I'm a gamble like no tomorrow. I don't know if that's a good idea, man. It's over. It's really over. You know, I'm looking forward to my reward. <laughs> what did she ask for, like 500 gold? I don't know. I feel like she was worth a little bit more than that, if I'm being perfectly honest. My people will surely be overjoyed. Anna, we did it. I'll tell you all about it later. Yar! Well, what do you know? A hopeless guy like me was a used to Prince Marth. Well, he could have been. I guess Taros is okay. Plus, I like the fact that he's a pirate. I like pirates. <laughs> the people will be oppressed no longer. General Camus, the Shadow Dragon has been vanquished. It's all over now, wherever you may be. If only General Camus were here to see us. If only! <laughs> you just look at Sirius, a single tear rolls down his cheek. <laughs> Those are my boys. That's my only regret. Well, I reckon it's time to start a new journey. Vivan, we must thank everyone. Hey, we're the men, huh? Well, I guess it ain't so bad. Yay, I'm so happy. Me too, Tiggy, me too. It's finally over. Abel, I I did it. Did you see that? Mars was about to kill him, and then I just swooped in there like... The war may be over, but the battle for our motherland's true peace begins now. The war is over at last. The days of peace and tranquility will soon return. Now, the people of Arcadia need suffer no longer. <laughs> so, I was mistaken. I must work to make amends. <sighs> Prince Marth, Deltre, I'm so happy. Oh, Deltre. <laughs> Arcanian Grog. Tomas. Who is this guy? We will... <laughs> Arcanian Grog will surely approve now. That's what I want to believe. Sir, look at how many characters there are! This is absurd! My country's fate will finally change. You have my thanks, Prince Marth. Twas a good battle. Not that I would know. Now my family will finally be able to live in peace! Coyote, do you see us? I still have my doubts, but it was... <laughs> no, way. I'm sorry. I still have my doubts, but it was better this way. Coyote. <laughs> I'm the edge lord of the group. My nation has collapsed, but even so, I shall continue to live as a Knight of Arcania. Mars amazing. I worked hard too, I swear. Did you see me chip that wyvern? Come on, guys, it's me, Amir. It was obvious we prevailed. You had me on your side, after all. Oh, Michaelis, you edged the... <laughs> this is good. I'm not going to show any emotion, though. Julian, it was only because you were there that I could... Michaelis, Minerva, can we be a happy family again? Camus, you're... you're right over there, I'm so sure. Merrick, thank you. Whoa, that was a lot of people. That had to be at least 70. And look who it is, this asshole. 
Ah, Marth, Brave Prince of Altia, I'm so glad we all did it together. Yes, every single one. All working together in unison, equal in part. <laughs> Thanks to your valiant efforts, Shadow Dragon Medius has been completely obliterated. And I helped too, of course. Uh, Medius' servants, the Earth Dragons, have once again returned to the darkness. As long as the Binding Shield exists, they will never see the light of day again. Marth, the chosen Prince of Light, descendant of the hero Henri. You have not only saved mankind, but us dragon kin as well. Marmar, -mar, does this mean I don't need to go back to the Ice Dragon's Shrine anymore? I'm so happy. I love being with everyone, after all. I don't want to be all alone ever again. This is like a dream come true. I'm so happy. So very happy. I love you, Marmar. -mar. Honestly, Tiki, for how long do you plan on hogging Prince Marth? He's mine, after all. <laughs> He's mine! <laughs> Prince Marth looks like he's enjoying it, too. Doesn't he worry that you might get mad, Princess Sheeta? Please, Malicia, you're so silly. But you're right, Marth looks happy. Who wouldn't be? Especially after having a heavy burden lifted from their shoulders. Ha oh. Prince Marth has always been forced to carry such a heavy responsibility. It must have been hard on him. But Princess, you didn't have an easy time either, am I right? Is she actually accepting this? <laughs> Is she actually gonna go quietly? I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> With everyone surrounding Prince Marth day and day night. Day and night. You could seldom talk to him. He must have felt very lonely. Yes, I did, but it's all right. As long as Marth is safe, I have no other wish. You see, I prayed to God, and when I found out Marth had been tasked with such an important mission, I asked for God to take my life, should Marth ever have to sacrifice his. That's all I could do for Marth. <sighs> I give up. There's no way I can compare to you, Princess. But you'll have to wait no longer, because your prince has finally come back to you. Look, Princess, he's over here. Be brave! Alicia, you freak! Marth. Shida, it's finally over. I've made you suffer too. Please accept my apologies. No, I'm the one who ought to apologize. I wasn't any help to you. Well, uh, well, hmm. I mean, to be fair, she sat on the bench for the last half of the game, but still, before that, she was kicking ass. Still had that whole thing where she has no strength, but hey, that's Sheeta for you. Don't be silly. I've only come this far because you were by my side, Sheeta. And besides, the hard part begins now. What? <laughs> Lunatic reverse reverse unlocked. <laughs> the seven kingdoms of Arcania are to be unified, and everyone expects me to accept the responsibility of the new kingdom. However, there's no way I can handle such a position by myself. Sheena, I want your assistance. I need you. Marth, let me tell you something. When I left Talus, I made a vow. I swore that I would go wherever you went, and that I'd trust you no matter what happened. So no matter how painful the war was, I was able to endure. Because, Marth, I... I love you, Marth! <laughs> Just say it! Come on! <laughs> Give me my happy ending! Sorry, you've done a magnificent job. I'm speechless for words. Yeah, you, let's all talk again! My turn now! The fact that I devote my <laughs> the, the fact that I can devote my last moments to fight under Prince Marth's banner is my life's pride. Truly, we're honored to be by the prince's side. Yes, even though I'm no knight now, fighting together with Prince Marth was my honor. Marth, please be happy from now on. Now we're all just gonna <laughs> Marth, yes, you're so great! I don't know guys, he wasn't that good. I will say that I was surprised that he started whooping some ass there in the endgame. I think really he just needs the brave sword to be honest. He is a really, really weird lord, I had to say, because, like, in the beginning he sucks, right? But he can do just enough that he's not, like, Roy level. And then, I don't know if you guys noticed, but starting, like, after we killed Harden, he became kind of sick. Like, for the end of the game, he was actually really good, I have to say. I, I don't know, I, I kind of like how they balanced him out, though. I kind of do. Because he can't really, like, he, he has so many different things to do. Well, I, we're going to have more than enough time, <laughs> I'm sure. Seems like we'll be busy from now on. All the kingdom needs to be rebuilt, so we have a mountain of work to do. True, and yet we can see hope in the eyes of all people. If we work hard now, we can turn the world into, onto the right path. That's what I truly believe. I'm sure the people of this world have received that hope because of Prince Marth. We, we've won? It feels so unreal. Somebody pinched me. Ow, I wasn't serious, you ass! Hey, you asked for it. <laughs> of course it was Luke. Hey, you asked for it. But truly, our battles will be told as legends for generations to come. I'm the greatest. Getting carried away, I see. But I'm glad everyone from the 7th platoon is safe. Oh, okay, so first everybody who survived had their thing. And now I'm guessing these are conditional, right? Like, if certain people are alive, they'll have little talks here. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Yep, the fact that we can laugh together as friends like this is what pleases me the most. And Katarina, that includes you, of course. Yes, I feel everyone's happiness as well. Deltre. Now I can have you all to myself. Yes, we'll be together forever, Katarina. <laughs> oh my god. The bonds of people are truly a wondrous sight, no matter your age. 
I was kind of hoping the old dudes would all have a conversation together. Like, uh, uh, Reese, uh, uh, who else? <laughs> the other guy, the other bishop guy, Frost. That would have been kind of funny. Wendell. Ah, Sir Sirius, where did he go? He was here until a moment ago. It's okay, you bellow. We must become stronger from here on. I'm sure Sirius wanted that too. I gotta return to Grus and work hard to rebuild my motherland. Say, Malicia, you uh, wanna go back with me? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Sorry, but this girl's taken. I have to look for my prince after all. Damn, <laughs> I gotta respect you, Roger. <laughs> Shoot, why not go for it? <laughs> Robert, Layden, let's move out. Understood. We shall now become knights who protect the weak. That's what General Camus would have wanted us to do. Did I say Camus early? <laughs> I, I very well might have. Pala, Katria S. The war is finally over. You've done well. Commander, your ideal world where we can all live in peace. It may finally become a reality. I agree. As long as Prince Marth is here, I'm sure it will. Oh, that's right. Let's all go to Altia. We must thank Prince Marth. Ooh, I would love that. I like how each of these is getting progressively higher. <laughs> we start down here with Mother, but now we're up here with Maria. Oh, I would love that. I want to see the. I, would, I want to see his dashingness too. Later, I was so worried about you. That's why I sat on the bench for this man. Tell me, did Julian make any distasteful advances on you? Hey, and why would I do something like that? Come on, at a time like this, she was the one who was coming on to me, man. It was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I see you two have been getting along while I was away. If that's what you can call it. Chief, don't you leave me behind. We vowed to stay together, didn't we? Ah, uh, screw you, man. I don't like the noise, but I've discovered the wrath of... The, the wrath of French! <laughs> oh, man, I've been at this for too long, but I've discovered the worth of friendship. Thanks. Agma, fellow Talesians, I must express my gratitude to you all for protecting Prince Marth in my stead. Princess, we go through hell and high water for you and your husband. Well, that and Agma asked us too, right, boss? Yeah, board cord, you did well. Really kept that bench warm. Bars, you helped a lot too. It was nothing. I just wanted to live my days in peace again. I like Bars though. <laughs> Seriously, he just seemed upset that other people were making noise, so he went out to go bust some heads. That, that's his whole storyline in this game, and I kind of like it because it's so funny to me. It's time I returned to my hometown. Thankfully, I've saved up a lot of gold. How? Oh, we ended this game so poor. Yar! I should try and earn money too by doing honest work instead. Princess Nina. Oh, Princess, I'm so glad you're safe. Linda, I apologize for making you worry. Medea, I'm sorry. I was overtaken by anger and forgot what was most important. You needn't apologize, Astrum. Just don't ever leave my side again. I'm kind of surprised that everybody seems to be getting some kind of closure here, especially for how... I don't want to say forgettable, but... Yeah, you know what? That's probably the most appropriate word, if I'm being honest. A lot of these characters don't really pop out to me. Although I will say that I was surprised by uh, how much I was really enjoying these characters. I, I definitely, uh, having sat down and actually looked at the story again, I found like I found these characters more memorable than I had really given them credit for in the past. I like a lot of these guys. Gotta say, good habit. Seems like we're in the way here, Sir Horace. Where might you be off to? I think that was a small table there. What? Nope, nope, nope. Sir Horace, where might you off to? Yep, small typo. I think that's really the only one I've seen, though, so that's pretty impressive. I must inform the people about the advent of peace. McKellen, I shall not return to the military. Yeah, we ought to try and rebuild Arcania as part of its people. I'm coming along, too. <laughs> Why not? Where else am I going to go? For the people of Arcania. It's all over at last. Now can we go save her? Aren't you glad, Caesar? Of course. And I have you to thank, Rad. <laughs> but wait, Navarre, where are you going? Don't forget me. Wait for me! <laughs> Navarre, I want to become your disciple. Wait for me! <laughs> oh man, which one of them loves it more? Hmm, I wonder. Well, it's about time I went back to Anna. Beck, what are you gonna do? Why would these guys know each other? I guess because they're both the <laughs> they're like they're like both balisticians. <laughs> so that's their connection. Well, I was breaking in about a new journey. Let us meet by Anna's shop again someday. I'm going back to the village. Everyone is waiting for me. V, we finally repaid favor. This woman will return to her country. I'm headed back home to my family. You two are really close, aren't you? You kind of remind me of my family. That we are. Oh yeah, this old family talk reminds me. I can't stay gambling forever. Gotta find a man for my hard-working gal. Right, Maris? 
quit your nonsense, Pops. I don't want no man, unless it's Deltra. <laughs> that support ruined everything, man. So, it's over. Yeah, everything is... Coyote, did we do the right thing? No, Roshi. Never question yourself. That's right. We must continue to fight. Declare Coyote's name now. At last, a world without war is born. Merrick, Elrian, you both did well. Well, one of you more so than the other, but... Teacher, the words you spoke to me. I think I understand them now. I must apologize to Merrick. Elrian, apology accepted, you little bitch. <laughs> Every... <laughs> I'm sorry. No apology is needed. I'm your friend. Ever since the day we met. Seeing the bonds of people dissolving the conflicts between them. It is a promising new world indeed. Oh my god. <laughs> so many dudes. The war is over. Samson, will you stay with me from now on? Didn't I already give you my answer, Shima? I'll go anywhere you wish. I like those two, though. Bon Bon, let's go to the village together again. It's been so long, I want to see everyone. Who oh, indeed. Once they see your smile, I'm sure they'll all be happy too. <laughs> These guys are so carefree. Unlike me. <laughs> what do you mean, Zane? You're the most carefree dude of all. But I suppose I can start slacking off as well. Indeed, I too can finally return to my eternal sleep. She sounds like she's <laughs> not even fully awake yet. Just with all those bottles, she's like... Ugh. And then she blows away a dragon. <laughs> uh, thank you, Deltre, for protecting and supporting me. No amount of thanks would be enough. I do like these uh, little artwork CGs, though, in this last section here. They're both really nice. Oh my god, Martha has eyes? This might be the first one that actually <laughs> has eyes. That's crazy. So they could do it, but chose not to. I guess it's a stylistic thing, and I, I, I will say that I do like the CGs in this game quite a lot. I'm sure they don't quite look as good uh, blown up like this on a full screen, but on the DS, I'm sure they looked really nice. But among the people, your deeds are being told things I've done alone. That just will not do. Once we return to the castle, I'll... If you allow me, sire, I have no need for a name. I don't want stories to be told of me. Deltre? Sire, with this war not over, a hero will be needed. A hero called Prince Mark. There are still hostilities between people who have fought for so long. Those don't disappear easily. In order to have everyone's agreement, a king everyone recognizes. A godlike hero is needed. And that hero must be you, sire, and you alone. But then, what you've done so far will be... Ah, oh, whatever. I already did it to Lena in the last game, so this is really no different. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so even if the world doesn't know, you do, sire. And that's enough for me. I shall stay by your side. I shall be your shadow. Ah, there it is. He's the hero of shadow. I get it now. Deltre, you're... Why, I wonder. Ever since we met, I felt a special connection with you. Fate sent you to me, but I can't help but... I can't help but think that. Thank you, Deltre. Please stay with me. Deltre, you're my other half. Wait, I don't think that that's... <laughs> she is over there just like, um, excuse me. <laughs> oh my god, really? <laughs> Could that be it? Oh my god, it is. <clears throat> One more narration. Thus, the long tragic battle that would later be called the War of Heroes finally came to an end. The Seven Kingdoms were unified under Prince Marth of Altia, and as the United Kingdom of Arcania was established, an era of peace began. The tales of the heroes who took part in this war brought, exci brought excitement and tears to the later generations. Chronicles of the Arcanian War of Heroes. This is a story of love and courage about the young warriors who fought with the continent's fate at stake. So is this entire game told in, like, the past tense? Like, it already happened and now we're just kind of recounting it? That's kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It kind of reminds me of uh, Final Fantasy Tactics in a way. If, if that's what they were going for, I guess. It's not really clear, but is that it? Are we going to get our character sheets now? Who did the best? Oh, turn counts. Oh, baby. I forget if there's a ranking in this game or not, but I can't imagine we did. I mean, I think we did all right, probably. Uh, so the prologue went pretty well, I feel like. Uh, yeah, I, as maps, they're not really hard, I would say, but I think that... Didn't I get bodied on the last prologue map? I gotta say, I really like that map. It's very challenging, especially for so early in the game. The final test, five. Uh, assassination, yeah, 18. Ooh, ooh, that's not so good. <laughs> Definitely feel like I could have done better there. But this is it. I, if I had to pick a part of the game that was the hardest, I... 
Ooh, I don't know. It, it's kind of hard because I feel like I was getting better and better as the game went on. But I'm going to say Chapter 6 was the first time I just got stonewalled by something. Yeah, right there at the Nest of Evil. That was a bastard of a map, dude. But I, I guess I feel like I could probably do it a lot better now that I've now that I've really got a grasp on this game. But Chapter 9 was another one that was just utterly batshit insane. That one was nuts. That one was absolutely insane. But I really like how this game constantly forces you to better your own playing if you really want to get through it. And that's something really cool about this game that I can't necessarily say about other games. You know, I've been a big fan... I've been a big defender of Echoes, but I do understand in a sense that it never really forces you to get good. And then all of a sudden, at the final part of the game, there's this difficulty spike. And people kind of feel unprepared for that because they were never really forced to form good habits throughout the entire game. But no, this game is the exact opposite of that, where right from the start, if you don't have good habits, if you don't actually uh, make use of what you have, there goes chapter 19. I think if I had to pick one final map, <laughs> Sorry to go on this little tangent here. If I had to pick one map that was the hardest, I would definitely say Chapter 19, without a doubt. Uh, to go back to what I was saying, though, is I feel like this game constantly reinforces you to get better and better as you go on. So even if each map is progressively more difficult than the last, for the most part, you never really feel stonewalled, or the difficulty doesn't really feel like it spikes out of anywhere. Because you're just constantly being forced to improve your own playstyle, you know what I mean? So I feel like in that sense, the difficulty curve for this game is spot on. Uh, I obviously really enjoyed this. I think that goes without saying, more or less. Ah, character endings. Here we go. I guess I can come back to that. I'm sure there's going to be time. Now let's see what happens to Luke. Luke suddenly retired from knighthood and continued his playboy ways. Lived the rest of his life wildly and freely. I didn't see how many battles he got, but I do wish that I used Luke more. He's a cool dude. <laughs> He's one of my favorite characters. Uh, or at least he was the first few times I played it. I don't know. I've got some new ones that I really like now having done this. Oh, I totally miss Rhodey there. <laughs> My bad. Rhodey's okay, too. Cecil devoted the rest of her life as a paladin of House Althea. A pretty vanilla ending there. Yeah, really just all of the characters you start with are all kind of interesting, I think. The 7th the Platoon, basically. I like all of those guys. Uh, Gordon retired from the Knights of the Reason and then moved to Arcanius. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Ryan could have been okay, too. I've heard he's actually really good. I... Obviously, we didn't use him too much. Ryan stayed in Althea and joined the Temple Knights so young. He did his absolute best as a knight. Ah, boy Nino, gotcha. Following Mars orders, Drog became the commander of Grust Garrison. There's just something I've always really liked about that guy. I don't know why. Aaron too. Aaron's cool. Because oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> I should have seen that coming. Malicia vanished after the war despite Mars' concern. Some worried that she had become a delinquent. Should have went with Roger. <laughs> you would do better than that, Roger. She's crazy, I'm telling you. While she felt sympathy for her elder sister, Katria worked tirelessly to restore Megadon. Oh, does she know? She must know about Abel. Warren returned to Megadon and became a hunter once more, living peacefully in the forest. Yeah, a lot of these are pretty standard. I don't think we're seeing anything too crazy so far. Cord returned to the kingdom of Talus and became a woodcutter. He preferred that life to the grim bloodlines of War. Bloodiness. The grim bloodlines. What? <laughs> Oh my god, Linda was a unit that I did not expect to be half as good as she was. Linda worked in the palace's magic academy. Perhaps she found love for her beauty, something or other. Palo was a unit who was exactly as good as I thought she would be. <laughs> but really, though, Linda surprised the hell out of me. Because she was just so frail at the beginning of the game. But I think if you wanted to use her, really just an angelic robe is all it needs, man. She can go to town. I didn't think Swordmaster Linda was going to be a thing. But... Just because the reclassing system being so cool, I feel like it really gives you more options than you really have in a lot of other games. And while it's true that units who are already really good do get buffed as well, it also means that units who suck, uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing a few of those faces here real soon, it means units that suck can actually have something to do. You know, like, what would Maris be doing if not for reclassing into a better class? Although, to be fair, she as a Swordmaster is pretty good. I guess Dice would have been a better example, right? What would Dice have been doing? If he couldn't become not a fighter warrior character, you know? Because that's just not a very good class for this game. So I, I really like that system. It also led for some fun things like Swordmaster Linda, so that was cool too. Uh, Ogma, I feel like... I feel like Ogma's good. I really like Ogma as a character. I really like all of the characters that sort of define some of the later archetypes, right? Ogma, Navar, uh... Even Bored and Cord to an extent, that's an archetype. I like Sirius a lot, obviously, uh... Camus is one of my favorite characters 
in all of Fire Emblem just because you get so much uh, you get so much explanation, so much backstory, so much characterization. Uh, especially with games like this and Echoes. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Uh, after the war, she did as long away to dream of marrying Marth was realized. Wearing a snow white dress, she was said to have looked as beautiful as an angel. That's nice. I'm glad I get my happy ending here. I, I like Marth and Sheeta too. I like their little romance thing. It's not exactly, you know, anything uh, super out of the ordinary, but I like the two characters and I, I like them together. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, I said it, fight me. <laughs> Sorry, Malicia fanboys. Or Catria fanboys, I guess would be more likely than not. As a Knight of Altia, Frey dedicated himself to teaching future knights. Cool, cool. Norn, who are you? <laughs> Norn, the volunteer. Norn returned to her village to live a peaceful, ordinary life, undisturbed by war. It is kind of a shame, though, with as many characters as there are in this game, I don't feel like a lot of them really have that much viability on the higher difficulties. Of course, once you've beaten Lunatic for the first time, you can use the Stab Booster Storm, and I feel like that really helps out a lot. It really does, but then you, you run into the problem where characters who are already good also benefit from that, you know what I mean? So, I mean, sure, it's an option to bring up, say, Caesar. Vanished after the war. Records say he either lived happily with his sister or lost, or lost his life in a battle. Wait, there's a big difference between those two. Which is it, game? Was he happy or did he die a horrible death? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like... I feel like a lot of the characters just simply aren't that viable on the hardest difficulty. Now, if you go down to Maniac, I'm sure anybody could be used, especially, again, if you do unlock those Lunatic stat boosters. Uh, you don't have to play on Lunatic to use those. So, like, if you grabbed a save file offline... Yeah, if you grabbed a save file online or something like that, and wanted to play on Maniac, you could definitely mess around with a lot of characters and whatnot. Yeah, you could definitely do... I'm sorry, <laughs> my computer's going crazy in the background here. Chill. You could definitely mess around on lower difficulties and crap. It would definitely uh, be a viable possibility, and I'm sure that you could have a lot of fun doing that. But on Lunatic Man, take no prisoners. Well, I say that, and even we were able to mess around quite a bit, right? We had Maris, we had Dice, we had Est, <laughs> the God Slayer. George founded the Arcanian Rangers. Oh, I missed that. I like this end credits theme too. In fact, is it even? <laughs> I like so many things about this game, man. It's hard to get it all out there. I feel like there's not enough time for once. Um, I love the music in this game. The soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. That Forbidden Sanctuary, which is the uh, final map theme, utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous how good that one is. And I was so, so stoked when I played Echoes. And got, and well, I actually never beat Thebus, if I'm being honest. But I was so stoked in Echoes to find out that they remixed uh, Forbidden Sanctuary and brought it back for that game. That was so cool to me. <laughs> I was fanboying harder at that than like 90% of the game itself, which is kind of ridiculous. But obviously all of the map themes really, really kick ass. Very memorable. Very memorable. Even Fire Emblem 3, if, if we're going to go back to the original, even Fire Emblem 3 had a really good soundtrack. But this, I feel like, brings a lot of the tracks up to another level. After the War, Maris received an outrageous reward from Prince Marth. She started a weapon shop with that gold. She deserves it. She deserves it. We can just pretend that support never happened. And then I would say I ended up really liking Maris. Yeah. <laughs> she was surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. And I gotta say, I really like the improvements with the art style in this game. It's really, really noticeable for, like, Marth and Sheeta particularly. It's like, just, just look at the two portraits side by side as a comparison between two games. And yes, I do know that technically this game takes place a few years after the first, but just the whole stylistic change was, was small, but meaningful in my opinion. And even other returning characters have a lot more color in their portraits. And it's something that I noticed immediately when playing this game way back in the day. And it's something that I still appreciate now. Everything pops this time, whereas Shadow Dragon is really dull and gray, and I feel like they were doing that on purpose, right? It was an intentional direction for Shadow Dragon to be dull and bleak, but I just don't feel like that works for Fire Emblem. I don't know, it's just not... It just doesn't really do it for me. This game, though, even though I'm not... I, I wouldn't say this is my favorite art style in the series. I definitely like it, and I, I find that it's pretty appealing to the eye, for the most part. Uh, Animations wise, a little bit lackluster still. There's only so much you can do, honestly. Uh, considering they did still keep the same Shadow Dragon style overall. But the small improvements made to the uh, 
made to the color selection really really helps this game stand above in my opinion ah, taking the tablet in the palace town surrounded by your dearest friends until they all died <laughs> and then she was alone oh s the god's lair here we go i say that not even ironically she actually killed Medius. she oh i missed her ending because <laughs> i was too busy talking man I guess we're kind of getting to the part where uh, the characters stop being really useful. Yeah, I think S was probably the last potentially useful character. And even that took some working, I gotta say. But again, I do really like the option. It's, it's pretty cool. I like the fact that you can use just about anybody. Although some are going to be harder than others, for sure. This end credits team is really kicking ass, I gotta say. Astrum, the Edgelord. Astrum joined the Arcadian Rangers and worked for his people. He finally tied the knot in his spare time. I thought they were... I thought they were married. I guess not. Katarina, the atoning strategist. I do know that if you wanted to kill Medius, uh, to go back to the final map, I guess, if you wanted to kill Medius and not do the whole Falchion thing, Katarina is a really good pick, too, because I've seen people do, like, forge Thoron crit on him, because he does have fairly low resistance at only 25. So if you gave her a bunch of spirit dust and crap, you could definitely kill him that way. I do think it's a real bastard move that on Lunatic, he always survives a hit from Marth even if you get a crit, <laughs> which is just insane. I know on lower difficulties, one hit and one crit will kill him with Marth, so it's not as bad. But on Lunatic, they were like, no, <laughs> no. Either you saved all your again steps for this map, or you better have a backup plan, man. Frost, the family man. Yeah, I really feel like I should go and look at some of these supports, seeing as now I do have the bond drop. I'm curious about a lot of these characters, to be honest. And that's something that I will say I wish the older Fire Emblem games would have done more. Uh, a lot of the side characters don't really do anything after their map, you know what I mean? They'll have their five minutes of fame, and that'll be it. Then they're gone to the background unless you do supports. And that's, and that's really disappointing for a cast as large as this. I'd like to see... Uh, in future Fire Emblem games, and based on Echoes, they're going to go in the right direction with this, hopefully, for Fire Emblem 16. But in future games, I would really like to see supporting cast members get to have a little bit of limelight outside of their joint map, you know? And supports are cool and all, don't get me wrong. I've always really liked that feature. I'm glad they brought it back for this game, without a doubt. But... It's just simply not enough in my opinion. It's just simply not enough, because supports are optional. You can easily miss that. And part of what makes characters memorable to me, right, is what kind of first impression they make. If a character can make a strong first impression, I'm more inclined to go check out their supports. And when all you really get is a, is a, when all you really get is a recruitment conversation, you know, it's hard to make a good first impression with that unless you're some kind of outstanding unit, uh, gameplay-wise. You know what I mean? So I do hope in the future that they sort of give characters their own moments. You know. That'd be really cool, just my opinion on that. Again, I do really appreciate the fact that they brought back supports for this one. And honestly, that just kind of ties back into my theory, or to my opinion, rather. It goes back to my opinion that New Mystery is just Shadow Dragon, but way better. Just way better. We already kind of talked about how the art style has improved, in my opinion. The gameplay is improved, in my opinion. The music is improved, in my opinion. They brought back supports, which can only be a positive, in my opinion. It's just Shadow Dragon, but dialed up to 11. Uh, I think that Shadow Dragon has gotten a lot better reception-wise as time has gone on. Oh, let's read ourselves here. Only 161 wins? Crazy. Now, match is written about me in the pages of history, however. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I do feel like Shadow Dragon's reception has gotten a lot better as of late. Like, over the last few years, people seem to have sort of warmed up to it a bit. But in my opinion, there can be no denying that this is the much better game. Wow, that's it. Wow. Oh, we did it, boys. We did it. Game over, GG, man. <laughs> this is it. And what a journey it has been. I guess to wrap that up, though, I think that... All the improvements to be found in this game are pretty substantial. In terms of difficulty, I feel like this is overall the more fun experience. I feel like the small gameplay considerations that they took into account for this one are also really nice. Like supports and whatnot. The music, fantastic. I really like the improved art style. 
Uh, on the whole, the maps are better. Of course, you still have some losers like Chapter 3, but hey, there's only going to be a handful of bad maps. One or two, I can honestly take that. This has been a lot of fun, guys. Really, it has. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, there's a ranking. I'm so fucking good. <laughs> God damn, am I good or what? Am I good or what? <laughs> you can't be serious. Yo. Oh, man. I was going to say maybe I'll have to redo this someday, but... Oh, baby. I feel like this has to be a pretty generous ranking then. Maybe... Or maybe I'm just goddamn amazing. Congratulations on beating Reverse Lunatic. No words can describe your achievement. Your triumph is truly a masterful one. Golly, I am so good at this game, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Has ever there been a Fire Emblem player as excellent as me? <laughs> I'm just messing around, guys. That's really cool, though. I don't think you could do better than that. There couldn't be an S-Rank because everybody lives. So, yeah, that must be the best possible. Man, oh, man. That's really it. Wow, I think I've really said just about everything that I have to say on this one. Excellent game. Easily one of my favorites. Easily one of my favorites. Uh, and I'm sure that there are people who are curious as to whether or not I'm doing the Arcania Saga. And I think we even have the DLC maps too, don't we? Let's just, let me just check that real quick. Uh, the answer is yes to both of those. <laughs> Where is it? Bonus content? Yeah. No, those, that's the DLC. Where's the... Okay, Chronicles, yeah. So there's four more maps here, and then there's three more DLC maps. And yeah, I'll do those. I really enjoyed this game a lot. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to doing more of this. As for what's coming after this, I have to be perfectly honest with you guys. I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out on Fire Emblem here. I really am. I don't know how many of these games I've done in a row, but it's been a lot. And th there was one other game that I was kind of playing around with the idea of doing... Uh, after this one, but I don't know. I really need to be in a certain kind of mood for that one. It's a really big commitment And I don't want to get like well this practically tells you what game it was But I don't want to get like three maps in and then be completely burnt out not want to continue the game so As for what's coming next it probably won't be fire emblem I'll be honest unless something crazy happens or I get a second wind for whatever reason but I still am going to complete Thracia, and as for Berwick Saga, I actually do want to keep doing it, and I'm going to keep doing it. What I thought I would do with that game is reserve it for the weekends, because just the way the Berwick Saga works right, I feel like it's one of those games that I really want to do two days in a row of, because a lot of the times I feel like we'll do a lot of the story and then start on the map, and then it'll be three days before we finish the map, and then get the next part of the story you know what I mean whereas if I did them two days in a row ie on the weekends I feel like it would flow a lot better and also that gives time for the game to actually be translated which is also really good so that's about where we're at right now we'll see if I decide to stick to that or not but I I, I really don't think that I'm gonna do another fire emblem right after this guys I'll still do the bonus content I'll still finish Thresh. I'll finish bear wing and for whatever I can anyways but we'll have to see what comes next so with all that said, thank you from the bottom of my heart if you've made it this far. I really appreciate it. Each and every comment that you guys left. I was really, really loving the engagement that you guys had with this one. A lot of really funny comments. A lot of really informative comments. And those are the playthroughs that are most fun for me, honestly. Because it's more fun when people are involved. I always really like seeing what you guys have to say. Uh, no matter what that may be, honestly. Thank you for everybody who supported this with likes. Thank you to everybody who was subscribed along the way. Thank you to everybody who was just simply watched the video and enjoyed it for what it was. But, all that said, that's going to do it for me. I've been recording for like two, two and a half hours, man. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will catch you guys on the next one. See you then. Peace.